Hi, this is the first session of time and work related to CAT 2015. Through this video, I'm going to explain you the simplest way to understand time and work sum, the simplest way to interpret it, the simplest way to solve this question. We are not going to use, in fact, I'm not going to use any formula. I'm going to use the simple application of the most important concept of uh, arithmetic, which is product constancy. And also I'm going to use common sense to solve the questions. So the next four or five minutes, I'll explain you how uh, it, it may take a bit more time also. I'm going to explain you how to solve a question quite easily. Before that, let's see whether time and work plays a crucial role here. Look, from 1990 to 2014, the number of quant questions are 987. Out of the 987, only 189 are arithmetic questions, which is 19, around 19 percentage. However, the number of time and work questions asked in CAT is just 19 questions since we consider time and work as an integral part of arithmetic. We can say the 10 percentage of arithmetic questions are directly coming from time and work. So time and work should be a very simple one because the is given to this one is not significant. Even though one question is also very crucial, I cannot say the weightage is much more. Since this year we are expecting a paper, since it's clearly announced that we get a 34 question paper. So out of the 34 questions, even if one say one goes with a trend like the 20 percentage or 19 percent of the questions are directly coming from mathematics, one can easily say it's going to be some six to seven questions of mathematics. In such a case, we can directly say that a 10 percent of it that's going to be maximum one question. Well, we cannot directly conclude that we are going to get only one question. We probably get two questions. We may not get even a single question. But at max, at max, I can say we get two questions. So it, it, it ranges from zero to two questions. I preferably say one. So why not we get more questions? When the CAT paper was like long time back, like 1990 to 2002, 2003, where the number of quant questions were significantly higher, that is around 50 questions, we used to get a lot of questions from mathematics. In one quant paper, in particular year, 1994 or 1993, I don't remember exactly, we had 20 questions come from mathematics. But we had a year where the number of arithmetic questions were as low as two also. Anyhow, let's move on solve time and work. As I explained to you, we use the important concept that is product constancy to solve every single question of time and work. What is product constancy? It's quite simple. Let's say if A into B is considered as constant, K, any modification of A, let's say if A is reduced, then we need to increase B so that the product is remain same, that is constant. If the product of two numbers is constant, the change in one number, change in one variable leads to the change in the other variable not by same quantity, not by same percentage, but we can easily say, if let's say A is reduced by 50 percentage, then the new value of A would be half of it, that is A by 2. So it's A into 1 by 2 into B into some value X and the product is K. What is X here? That's very easy to say. Since A, B are remain same, then since A is multiplied by 1 by 2, then we can directly say that B should be multiplied by a reciprocal of 1 by 2, that is exactly 2. This is what we use, product constancy. 
well to solve every single question of uh, almost all the questions not every single question almost all the questions 90% of the time and work questions and also time speed distance questions we use product concept and also to solve ratio proportion variation questions since we are using this one there is no other shortcut to find the product consistency is as simple as like that let me tell you what are the other things that we come across in time and work what normally happens is let's say what we normally do or what people norm, what students normally do is like let's say if a finishes a work in 10 days the immediate thing is in one day a would finish one tenth of work or some people say since a finished the work in 10 days then it means that since it is 100 percent of the work in one day a would finish 10 percent of the work this also very simple but the problem is instead of 10 if we have a, a number where we get the percentage of work in, in terms of decimals then it leads to a bit of complex complexity let's say we have got another person let's say B finishes the work in 15 days and he finished the work in 100% in one day exactly he would be f finishing 100 by 15 percent yeah that's right that is like 6.66 percentage you know it's not true it's not 6.66 percentage it is 6.66 bar percentage that we can write it as 20 by 3 percent if the percentage is an integer then that's very good if the percentage is coming as a decimal number then pos probably some students struggle and what we normally do is like we take this as also one day it's 1 by 15 then in one day a and B together what they do is like they do 1 by 10th work plus 1 by 15th work then we are trying to take an LCM of 10 and 15 and slow this is a very simple way to solve and this is also what we normally learned in during our school days we don't really require this kind of approach no no competitive examination focus on how many days would A and B finish the work the cat I haven't even seen a single question from 1990 that is as simple as this question well they focus on what happens if A work for some days let's say five days and then B joined and B work for some days then A left and then the remaining work is finished by B in such a case this kind of uh, approach might not be suitable right? even though we get answer quite easily by going through this one we may not really save a lot of time instead of it i will explain you a frame i'm going to explain your frame through that frame you can solve the questions quite easily now i'm going to tell you one more fundamental thing that you need to remember if let's say a group of persons are working a group that's a group comprised of 10 persons what you need to understand is all the people that is they work for same time every day unless otherwise is mentioned the second thing is capacity of each person is same that's what you need to understand unless otherwise mentioned we need to take this one the third one is each person works at his or her full capacity every day these are three things three important things but when we are trying to apply these three important points we normally struggle so knowing the important points 
is not the only way to solve the question. In fact, we need to apply them properly. Let's see. I'm going to introduce a frame. Through this frame, we can solve the questions quite easily. The first one is take number of persons. And you can consider this as A. Then we can say the capacity or probably we can say efficiency and take this as B the time or you can say duration you can consider this as C then say total work or the total work in terms of units this you can take it as D and now in fact D is equal to A into B into C the total work, I'm talking about 100% of the work. I'm not talking about 50% of the work. Now, let me take an example and let me solve one question. First, I solve by using the normal way. That is, let's say A finish your work in six days. Then you finish one sixth of the work day one day two every single day you finish exactly one sixth of the work and it's a b b finish the work in eight days then b would be able to finish one eighth of the work every day uh, a and b together they finish one sixth and one eighth of the work that's massively very simple but as i told you what happens once they say a worked only for certain number of days then B joined, then B, B left, and then A continued, or B continued. Instead of doing all these things, what you can simply say is, number of persons is one, because we have got only one single person, A, and its efficiency, we have no idea. The time he takes to finish the work is six days. And the most important thing is, six days, he finishes exactly 100% of the work. And we have got another person and the number of persons of the other group is also simple one and we have no idea about the efficiency and he takes eight days to finish the work that is he finish 100 percent of the work. do you remember take it up to 100 percent of the work if let's say b works for four days to finish 50 percent of the work then you need to consider it for 100 percent of the work now 100 percent of the work so what you really need to do is you take the LCM of the duration that is 6 and 8 which is coming as 24. Now 24 is nothing but the total work in terms of number of units. So this is 24 units of work. This is 24 units of work. The LCM of 6 and 8. Now person A or let's, let's, let's give a name Amit and let's say Akash. Now, Amit finished the work in 6 days. The same work is done by Akash in 8 days. Now, since the total work is 24 units, then we can simply say that the efficiency of uh, Amit is 4 units per day. And then Akash is exactly 3 units per day. Together, they finish 7 units. Now, the total number of units are clearly given 24 and 7. Now, to solve the simple questions like 1 by 6 or 1 by 8 or to solve uh, like uh, A, B, C are working, A and B are working, C is not working or C is destroying the work or A and B are filled pumps and then C is uh, an empty pump or a pump which drains out all the water. We can solve by taking that 1 by 1 day work plus 1 day work plus 1 day work. What really happens is like we don't get those types of questions. Those are very simple questions actually. We get slightly different type of questions. So this frame will help you in solving the questions. I'm going to solve 22 questions. Not now actually in the next video. I'm going to solve 22 questions by using this frame. So once you go through the 22 questions, you can understand each type of question and how to apply the simple techniques are simple how to solve the question very easily. Now, 
I'm going to use the same frame to solve another kind of question. So with that one, we conclude the session. Let's take Let's take a group actually. Now, six men and eight women. This is a group A or one group. We have no idea about the capacity of the group. They finish the work in eight days. We've got another group where the number of male or five. The number of females are 14. They finish the work in six days. Now, immediately you can say that group one finish 100% of the work and group two also finish 100% of the work. What you can do is that you can eliminate the duration here. Instead of taking eight days or six days, what really happens if we want to finish the 100% of the work in one single day? Then we need more number of people or we need more efficiency coming from every candidate well you can say since you need to finish the work in one single day you need to increase the efficiency by eight times or you need to increase the number of persons available by eight times either way you can do so what i do is like i can directly say we need the capacity that is eight times so eight times of first group and then since second group also finished the work in one day then we can say 6 times 5 males plus 14 women since both the groups finish exactly 100% of the work now you we can equate so what comes is 48 men plus 64 women we can add as 30 men plus 84 women then it works out to be 18 men is equal to 20 women then we can say men by women it is 10 by 9 so the capacity of each male is 10 units per day and woman is 9 units per day now we can go back and then we can really see how many what is the total units of work so men it is 10 units per day and women it is 9 units then we can easily calculate six men they do 10 units of work every day each person so it means that 60 units by males per day and then women nine units so eight women 72 units per day so together what they do is like 60 one day plus 72 into eight days that is the total work in terms of the units now this frame will give you well, if you use this frame, you can solve the questions very easily. Now, you need to solve at least 10 to 12 questions to apply this frame. With this one, I conclude the session. I'm going to solve exactly 22 or 23 questions, exactly 23 questions from basic level to slightly higher level once we solve 23 questions we can directly solve the exact cat questions it means i'm going to make exactly three videos first video i solve 23 questions by using this frame the second video i'm going to solve original cat questions in fact cat means it's original actually i'm going to solve level one that is easy level cat questions and the final video i'm going to solve cat questions which are moderate i could not find even a single difficult or more difficult or very difficult question of time and work in any cat from 1992 2014 thank you